Hey guys, I'm here with another video with the LG Chem Battery Pack build. I wanted to share with you some of the designs that we've been going through to protect the high voltage terminals that we've been building. Now on the left hand side here you could tell that we actually assembled both the positive and negative terminals with two uh, leads that will be coming from either side and in the center here we have the covers that we will be using to protect these terminals from ever touching we're also going to be putting some insulation on them as well as captain tape to put these battery packs together so now going into how the design came about as far as having a top cover as well as a bottom cover in order to protect the terminal plates that are putting these batteries in series. So on the bottom here you could tell there are two types of spacers. One of them is for the back side of the battery and the other spacer is for the front side of the battery. So this spacer essentially is covering the two notches that are coming out from the casing that will look like that when you put that bottom uh, cover on and then for the front we just put we're gonna we have two 3d printed squ uh, squares for the bottom side of the cover there are two features in here that will be touching the plastic edges of the casing of the battery and then this extra spacing that you see in here is where these terminal plates will be seated. And then once we want to assemble this we're going to put a rod through the two holes here that will also go through the battery pack and then that will keep it assembled. Another thing you'll notice is there is the pouch that is exposed here from the casing. So with this design, when you put the spacer there, it will completely cover the pouch of the battery. So I'm going to try to assemble this for you guys just so that you could see um, the assembly procedure for the bottom side of the battery pack. So you put the spacer on the bottom, rotate the battery, you have the two spacers here, and then here you could tell there's a longer lip at the bottom, that is because of the bottom spacer here. And then you should be able to easily slide this in, like that. And that's what the bottom looks like. So once it's once it's standing up, it, it has a nice solid surface to sit on. Since these are our first version prototypes that we've 3D printed, we just wanted to design something just to have something so that we could visualize before we confirm all the dimensions and tolerances. Now for the top part, there will be three pieces, the cables that will be coming out. So they're going to be connected to the battery and coming out from the top. So that's the top cover. These are also waterproof cable clamps. And then as you can see here, there are four slots specifically for these terminals. And I'll show you this once I assemble it. So that's the top part. You could tell that we've put in hardware to assemble this. And, and same, same idea for the bottom here, two features so that the uh, plastic casing of the battery sits on and then the center terminal plates will be sitting right in the center here. So I'm gonna do my best to assemble this, but I'll do this off camera because if I 
am not careful enough, there's nothing that will stop these two terminals from touching this and sparking, and I want to be really careful with that, so hold on a second, then I'll, I'll put this on. So I'm back here, fully assembled, you could tell the terminals are all separated nicely, and then this is where we're going to clamp our terminals with our ca cables and <clears throat> And then put, and then this will be attached on the top here. And then once it's completed, you have that bottom piece, you have this top piece, and then that's how it will be assembled. And, and this is the battery once it's fully assembled. Here's the top going down, there's the bottom. So I'm going to rotate this around for you guys to show you it's nicely covered on all four sides you could have you see the spacer there do an angled view like that and then coming on up that's what the high voltage battery covers will look like